If you have ever struggled with trusting your baby, your business to somebody else, if you are a self-proclaimed control freak and just don't think that hiring a VA is going to work for you, if you just feel the need to do every single thing yourself, if you take pride in the fact that only you can do whatever that thing is, if you can identify with any of that, then you're in the right place. And if you're new around here, my name is Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing and system strategist. And I have helped hundreds of solopreneurs, solo professionals, small business people, authors, course creators exponentially and quickly scale their businesses by outsourcing the smart way. So stick with me to the end because I'm going to set you free from your control freak self. So are you a control freak? Probably. How do I know this? Because I am one too. It sort of comes with the territory of being an entrepreneur. But the problem is that you really can't do everything yourself if you want to grow. Am I right? So the first step in conquering this control freak that lives inside of you is to have an honest conversation with yourself about the stuff that only you can do. Like look around your business. What is it that only you can do? Are you the only person that can do your social media posts? No, you are not the only person that can do your social media posts. Are you the only person in your business who can schedule your emails, do your invoicing? No, You are not the only person that can do that. So when we get really honest with ourselves, the truth of the matter is most of the stuff we're doing in our business, we should not be doing. We sort of kid ourselves into thinking that we do something maybe in such a janky manner, like we kind of, we've gotten into maybe some bad habits of going around our whatever to get to our elbow. And we think, how would I possibly explain that to someone else? I might as well do it myself. They would never be able to figure this out. And it's just simply not true. And the other thing is there might be some things you really do do better than your virtual assistant, but does that mean that you should be doing them? No, because more often than not done is better than perfect. But what is more likely true is that there is somebody that can do it better than you. There is always someone who can do it better than you. The second thing that's going to set you free and help you break ties with that control freak that lives inside of you is to create systems and really rely on those systems and use those systems in your business. And even better is to have someone else create the systems for you. What do I mean by that? Well, a system is just a checklist when you think about it. So if you just did something as simple as a recording, like a screen recording, and just talked your way through of whatever the process is in your business, then hand that over to your VA, let them create the system and the checklist. Not only do you now have a system and a checklist that lives inside of your business that is repeatable, but your VA has now learned how to do it because she had to watch it or he had to watch it and create the checklist. And now you never have to do whatever that thing is again, ever. Number three, educate. It's a great idea to always be educating your virtual assistant and you don't have to be the one to be educating them, but just sharing information with them, whether that's a an online course that you might purchase for them from somewhere like Udemy or Skillshare or Coursera. They're very affordable courses and they can watch the courses. You don't have to watch the course, learn the thing, and then teach it all. No. If you've hired the right person, it's just as simple as sharing a training with them. Be open-minded. This is, I know, sometimes a lot easier or a lot tougher than it sounds, but just be open-minded. This time doesn't have to be like last time. This time can be different. Try and try again. Eventually you're going to get it right. And lastly, you want to do this slowly. You don't have to 
give everything away all at one time, especially if this is really super uncomfortable for you. You could just start off with small steps. There's no rule book that says that the minute that you hire a virtual assistant, you have to dump everything on their head. And that wouldn't be a good idea anyway. When you do finally delegate the work that you shouldn't be doing so that you can focus on the work that you should be doing, then the advantages are great. So just that. You're going to be able to focus on the work that you should be doing, the work that you really enjoy, that you love to do, that is really going to move the needle in your business, that is truly the thing that only you can do. When you let your VA learn and develop new skills, it's a win-win. Not only are they going to be more productive, but they're going to feel really great about that. And by the way, I've done another training on how to motivate your VA. So click here to watch that. And lastly, the biggest advantage of all is that this is going to improve productivity. And if your productivity is improved inside of your business, then your business is going to grow and your business is going to earn more money and you're going to have more freedom. So all good things. So I hope you found these tips on letting go helpful. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that little bell so you get a notification and you never miss one of my trainings. See you soon. 